one thing kung bata ko na kailangan ko na patanggal yung husband ko, ganda talaga ng tattoo mo, babe. Fairy, ang cute. Pero hindi siya cute eh. Talagang dugyot na siya. So, alam mo yung inaasar ka lang. Hi everyone! I'm Dr. Casey Reyes. You can call me Doc Casey. I'm a skin doctor, preventive medicine practitioner, and the founder of Luminis. Tattoos are a form of self-expression. And a lot of people get tattoos because it is of something that resonates with them and have committed to having it on their bodies for their entire lifetime. It's perfectly normal that as some situation changes, some people would want to have tattoos removed. You may recognize today's skin vester from a previous episode where we resolve her pronounced nasolabial folds and mild sagging of the face using the Valentine's Lift. Click on the link below to watch that episode. But today, we're removing some of Miss Carla's tattoos. This is just one of our interesting episodes, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to see more of our content. Hi! I'm Carla Sia. I am a mom of four girls. I do freelance model and I have a small clothing brand. And I'm back here at Luminous. Okay, as you know, I've had a few treatments now with Doc Casey, but today it's something different because may buburahin tayo from our past, which is my tattoo. Very funny yung story, at least for me. It was um, during my college days. Bawal ako mag-tattoo kasi that time parang 18 pa lang ako. But be, being sutil, I went for a tattoo during my break. Tapos pinili ko tong cute na fairy. Ganyan siya. Only to find out nung natapos yung tattoo ko, guys. Super laki pala niya. Ganyan. Imagine, first tattoo mo, ganyan. Sa likod. Oh my God. Ang hirap niya itago, unang-una. Pangalawa, sobrang hardcore ng itsura. Kaya pala ang tagal. Parang surprise lahat sila. Parang first tattoo mo, tapos bawal ka, ganyan ka laki. Sabi ko, I know, right? It's, it, wala na akong magagawa eh. It's there. Kailangan lang maging careful for a few days after getting it. Pero nahuli rin, alam mo na. And na ano, nasabon tayo dun. Actually, I've been thinking about it na before pa, but the technology kasi parang hindi pa siya sobrang okay. Parang may specs pa na you will see eh, may dirt pa ng ink. But ngayon nga, yung Luminous, they have this new machine that will really remove everything. So ngayon, I'm very confident to do it. This is the perfect time for it. I know usually yung mga nagpapa-remove ng tattoos or usually ex nila, name ng ex or something traumatizing that happened. Yung akin, more than anything, arte na lang talaga siya. Kasi hindi na siya bagay sa mga small tattoos ko. <laughs> Yun na yung vibe. Tapos, yeah, for me, um, I'm excited. Although nakabonding ko naman to for 20 years. Parang tapos na yung bonding namin. I'm done. We're done with this little fairy sa back ko. Kaya I'm so happy na finally after 20 years, patatanggal na siya ang aking tramp stamp. Husband ko, inaasar ako. Isa pala yun. One thing kung bata ko na kailangan ko na patanggal yung husband ko, ganda talaga ng tattoo mo, babe. Fairy, ang cute. Pero hindi siya cute eh. Talagang dugyot na siya. So, alam mo yung inaasar ka lang. So, 18 years kami together. So, imaginein mo, siguro 12 years onwards, nung maganda na yung mga tattoos ngayon, yung makikita mo na yung aesthetic. Because during my time, eto na yun eh. Eto na yung maganda. But now, kasi with what we have, yung progression sa tattoo industry, talagang ayoko na. Ayoko na. Awa na ako dun sa tattoo ko. Pero talagang basurs. Ganon. Actually, yung story talaga, dalawa yung gusto ko patanggal. This one. Kakaloka kasi to. Ilang times na ako napagkamala na tomboy. Like, doing yoga, sabi sa akin, nung instructor, sabi niya, Uy, you're ano pala? Sabi ko, what do you mean? Yung tattoo mo. Sabi ko, no, no, no. Mag-explain. Don't worry. It's okay. I understand. Parang okay. Tapos sa Vietnam, yung cousin ko, kasama ko, gumimik kami. I didn't know. Ang dami palang tomboy doon. Tapos, alam mo yun, sinasabi niya, is that your girlfriend? Sabi ko, no, that's my cousin. Because your tattoo, parang, okay, papatanggal ko na 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 LGBT tayo dito. Pero I realized, meron siyang meaning rin for me. Kasi I had this before pa, before pa nauso yung Pride na logo. So naisip ko, ang dami ko namang gay friends and I support the community. Parang, yeah, don't remove it na lang. Cute naman siya. Bahala silang i-judge ako na tomboy. <laughs> 
Tattooing is an ancient practice. The earliest evidence of tattoos dates back to roughly 3100 BC. In many cultures, the practice of tattooing in the skin is an extension of ancient rituals or traditional aesthetics. Some find that the permanence of a tattoo or even its conspicuousness make it ideal for marking something of personal significance. Before getting one, you need to know that the removal of tattoos is usually more expensive and often more painful than getting the tattoo itself. Here are the usual options for tattoo removal. Number one, surgical excision. Under local anesthetic, your surgeon will be using a scalpel to remove the tattooed skin. The edges of the surrounding skin are then sewn together. This usually leaves a scar and is only recommended for small tattoos. Second, laser therapy. This is the non-surgical option. After topical or local anesthesia, a laser's targeted energy pulses are used to heat and shatter the tattoo ink. Multiple sessions are needed to fade and completely remove the tattoo. However, it's a good thing that it's the dawn of the new era for tattoo removal here in the Philippines. Luminis is now a proud provider of the Luminis Pico Suite. We now have three different Pico lasers, all of which are internationally approved, backed by evidence and certified authentic laser machines. For Carla, I'll be using Pico Majesty. The Pico Majesty is the world's first and only 250 picosecond ultra short pulse laser with a power output of over 2 gigawatts. The Pico Majesty has a unique power profile in addition to speed. It delivers 50% more energy in each pulse than any other picosecond or nanosecond aesthetic technology laser. And it does so 45% faster than the usual. Pico Majesty boasts four wavelengths, 532, 595, 660, and 1064 nanometer. This is with a high peak power for treating multiple tattoo color combination, giving it the ability to remove even the lightest colored tattoos. This makes it an incredibly versatile machine thanks to its combination of power and precision. What can one expect after a tattoo removal session using a Pico laser? After a session, you may experience some redness, swelling, and blistering as your skin heals. This is normal, so avoid picking at any flaking, peeling, blisters, or scabs that form. Do not pop any blisters, as doing so can cause an infection, so some of our patient tattoo removal journey may take at least four sessions but it highly varies depending on the degree, color, and extent of the tattoo. I hope you guys learned a little something from this episode of Skin Vesting. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell if you want to learn more from me and from Luminous.